when the right one comes along, it'll just come along. Look, I, have, I met a lot of good friends here. When did you guys start to be interested in each other? After two weeks, maybe? There are a lot of couples here. <laughs> it is definitely a heartland for many different reasons. <laughs> My name is Samantha Humphreys. I'm from Monroe, Michigan. And my first impression was I knew it was going to be hard, but nowhere near as hard as it actually is. It's incredibly hard and intimidating. It's the physical labor and their expectations. I mean, Chris's first words to us is, we hold you to unrealistic expectations to, and you're gonna make it possible. <laughs> Um, well, at first I would burn every single project of mine, and I'm actually going through them, starting to get better at it. <laughs> Forging is hard. It's called a center punch. You use it to mark where you're going to nail your nail holes in uh, of the horseshoe. Without it, you could really mess up the alignment of your nails. I've been riding since I was 11. No shoeing, no farrier experience. I been on the equestrian teams I've competed. I just recently bought uh, my first baby a couple years ago and I've trained her to uh, ride. She's going to be my uh, volunteer mounted police horse so it'll be cool. We are at the corner of Zulu and BB and um, Kelly is not feeling well so she doesn't know which directions to use. If this is true it says we're still 30 minutes away. Then turn left. Cold medicine and directions might not be too good idea. It was actually here at Ron and Ashley's house a year ago that I decided that I was going to go to the school. Um, and I talked to Chris about it and Kelly and I made the leap uh, and decided to go to Heartland Horseshoe in school. You know, I, I've been really blessed. Uh, my Actually, my first day out of school, I had four horses to trim. I mean, things are going really well. So uh, I feel like they've given me everything I need uh, to start and run a successful business in this. It's, it's great to come back and, and watch them come and visit with them all and see them all still doing great in school. And, and you know, I'm rooting for every one of them. And that's something that you really see amongst farriers in general a lot, but especially at the school is they're, everybody's rooting for everyone to make it. And it's really awesome. It looked like those handles were just a touch wide for you. Yeah. I'm going to go do a quick adjustment on the anvil and uh, we'll make them a little, little bit more your size. Great, thanks. All right. So anyway, if you are using GE nippers, what's really nice, the heads are super hard so the blade lasts forever, but the handles are not hardened, which means that you can adjust them to be appropriate for your hand size. So I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy. If the handles are too wide for you, simply open them, come to the heel of your anvil, and just tap that a few times. I do it right over the hardy hole if I want more bow. And uh, just, just play with that a little bit until you get something that fits you better. Like I think that's going to fit her a lot nicer now. Um, and you're not going to do any damage doing it that way. Don't heat them up, don't quench them, don't do any of that. Just make your adjustment. Very simple and that would be very comfortable. It's been an experience, and I'm really happy to be down here. Um, it's definitely much harder than I thought, but I know why I'm down here, and I'm going to accomplish that. So I'm just keeping that at the forefront of my mind and reminding myself of that. Pulling shoes. That's, like, so hard. I don't know why. Um, today it took me, like, 30 minutes to pull two shoes, it was 
real confidence knocker, but I know tomorrow will be a better day. But we have some amazing instructors, so and and that's hard to come by. So you you can have good good instructors, and then you have amazing. And I believe that we have amazing instructors. We just it's just hard to have individualized time. I understand that. So my farriers back home. Uh, I always wanted to go to fairy school. I just never thought that I would. Um, and they recommended Heartland. It's hard work here. And I knew that Heartland would be quite the challenge for me. So I decided to come here. I was terrified when my parent, my mom left uh, to go back home. I'm like having the moment of what did I get myself into? I mean, I know I can get through it. I've done hard things before. This is definitely probably the hardest. Um, but it's like, a, I know I want to be a farrier. I know I want to. I'm, and I'm going to be a great farrier. But I, it's not that I'm having doubts. I'm just struggling. I'm on the struggle bus right now. That is, that's the best way to describe it. Water on herself occasionally, so she looks sweaty. Wait, yeah. Yep. You ever see that Rice Krispie commercial where the woman puts the powder on herself and goes, Oh, I've been working so hard. That's Hannah. Learning anything oh, today? Sorry. So you bring your finger up the front? So, so what I was doing there was I was going to feel. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I felt it. <laughs> Right? And then I go like that, if I can catch that edge, I know I've got a shoe. That means I gotta cut more. So look how I swing my, my arm. Is that swing motion right there? Yeah. That's what allows you to cut. Now you're gonna hold it so the guy Higher. can grab it, right? Yeah. Now run your finger up there. Yeah. All right. So now we're golden. That fits really sweet. Cool it off, Nana. Did you do a whole horse, Anna? Yeah. On a sick day. New shoes? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, the lateral is low, and the, this one is now up going into the old hole. Yeah, deals. Yeah. I'm not rich like the Canadians, so I can't. I can't. Re gotta reuse nails. You gotta reuse them. And not drop them in the grass. Nail her up, both are on. Oh, so both of them are nice. Well, we're mainly worried about the set, right? Okay. So, hammer nails. So right now, the big thing I'm checking is not necessarily your nail height. I'm checking to see if the shoe is set in the appropriate spot. So, and from, and from there, you like hitting in uh, the heel nails, or at least. So you will only put in the front six. You're responsible for the front six. Okay. Until, unless we directly tell you different. Okay? So until further notice, until further notice, hold your hand a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Until further notice, what you're going to do is <coughs> you might be able to set a shoe. We'll tell you go set a shoe. So you mm -hmm. put two nails in, and when you put the two nails in, then you'll say, hey, can you come check it? Just like you just did. And that's called a set. So when we pick it up, we're checking a set. Now, if we want a fourth nail, if any of us wants a fourth nail, we'll put it in at that point. Okay. So that's why I was on that deal now. Okay. With not any other reason other than I just wanted to put it in low and Okay. Versus letting you nail up all the way and then come back and put it in nice. Okay. It says you have to pick a foot up. Yeah. Yeah, this sounds good. I learned so much there, uh, not just about shoeing horses, but also, uh, you know, they try to work on the whole person at Heartland. Uh, and I think that's really awesome. And uh, so, you know, I think that I'm a better person after leaving there.